Hello and welcome to our next guide video for Ark Survival Evolved, still on Genesis Part 1. We are uh, completing, hopefully, all of the Alpha difficulty missions in the Arctic biome, beginning with Built Fjord Tough. This is the gauntlet mission for this biome, as with the uh, bog beatdown mission in the bog biome. There are five rounds of this as well, with a uh, boss for it all at the end. For this one, I wasn't able to find anywhere where I could put a uh, cliff platform attached to, where I could do the same trick that we did for the gauntlet in the bog biome. But I did discover, as I mentioned in the previous video, that this here that I have set up will work just fine. You will need a platform. Obviously, it doesn't need to be raised this high up off the ground. I don't know why I put it that high, but whatever. Um, but you'll need a platform, like just that's just outside of the uh, uh, gauntlet mission area. You will need a tech generator, and you will need two tech teleporters. You will need one on either side of this platform, um, and the one, the teleporter that is going into the mission area. The control console right here, the anti you can control it from anywhere, really, as you can see. Um, but the like actual console that's right here has to be outside of the barrier for the mission area. Otherwise, if it's inside or if it's a bit too close to the barrier, the teleporter will be destroyed, and you'll waste like 5,000 plus worth of resources. So, these are very expensive to make. You can't actually learn how to make the teleporter on uh, Genesis, though. The Alpha Dragon boss from the island, and from some of the... Uh, I think from Ragnarok has it as well, and maybe Valgaro. Um, and then the Alpha Crystal Wyvern. Both will give you the engram for the tech teleporter once you defeat them. And then the tech generator, I don't remember who... Uh, gives it what boss gives it but it's one of the island bosses i think it's the alpha megapithecus but don't don't quote me on that um and yeah that's that's all i really got for you so you'll need a blood stalker to be able to get out back over here as soon as you start the mission otherwise you're not going to make it in time if you're just running so we're just going to start the mission up if i don't make it i'm just going to cancel the mission immediately Simulation wants to test us with the gauntlet. Whew. Okay, almost didn't make it. They're coming through the gateway. I couldn't actually see where it was trying to teleport, where it was trying to throw me. Okay, so we're out. Gauntlet has started. We have 30 minutes to complete it all. It looks like. We're gonna turn on our our generator here, and then Arctic output. You know, I might just need the one Rex, really, right now. I don't know why that, why that guy just got teleported. Um, I, d I have tried this mission several times on foot. Just to see if it's, if it's possible, if there's any kind of trick I can make happen to make this work. But I'm not able to. I'm not able to. There's been nothing I can figure out that'll make this doable if you're just doing this mission strictly on foot. So do with that what you will. Um, I'm not even able to get past the first round. Although, looking at this, I may have been able to get, pack, get past this first round. Um, the biggest issue that I was running into before is the mammoths. The mammoths will do their um, intimidated debuff on you. <clears throat> hey, kill those. Uh, yeah, the, the Mammoth's Intimidated debuffs, debuff will make it so that you physically cannot do enough damage to actually complete a round. So, if you get lucky, like I apparently have for this round, and you don't have to worry about any Mammoths, then you should be able to do the first round on foot alone. Um, but anything past that is going to be going to be asking for too much.
Another gateway will show up soon. Be ready. In hindsight, I should have crowded the Bloodstalker just so that I don't have to worry about him or her wandering off into who knows where. Let's see, can I? Well, here's hoping nothing bad happens. <laughs> so, I've got six Rexes here. They're As you can see, the all gateway. of them got into here without an issue. Come on, all of you. Yeah, with with creatures in these in these missions, it's making it, it's making it very easy. I'm a little concerned about the boss at the end. I don't know how it stacks up with the actual with the actual boss, so I guess we'll have to wait and see how that goes. <clears throat> Everything's just relatively low level here as well. I don't think I've seen anything over a hundred yet. I don't lose any of the Rexes, but I don't think I'm going to. Flyers might be a little bit of an issue as well, especially if I was just doing this with one Rex. Um, if you don't have access to... <clears throat> well, the, the island, everyone has access to the island. If you have, the, if you have this game, you have the island. So that's a redundant statement that I was about to just say. So never mind. Um, this teleporter thing will work on the bog beat down gauntlet mission in the bog biome as well. You don't have to do what I did with the. Uh... Are you okay, man? Oh, are you all following me still? I didn't even realize you were following me. I thought you guys stopped following me when I. Can you get the hell off me? <clears throat> I thought they stopped following me when I did when I whistled them to attack someone. Hey, fuck off. Um, you can also use a Giga for these missions. Same thing with the teleporter. You can just teleport one in here. The gateway is open. Oh, it's a mana super. Kick everything's ass. Murder. Do the thing. Good job. There, everyone stay on. Everyone be neutral so that you can actually defend me. Instead of just like wandering around or just standing there and taking a beating. So just now noticing how much the damage difference is between an imprinted Rex I'm riding and the ones I'm not. Don't relax yet, Survivor. <clears throat> Another gateway is coming. Alrighty then. Uh, these are the same Rexes as, as before. Well, as I'm using for everything. Five health mutations, five melee mutations. That's really the only interesting thing I've got for you. They're, they're not really overly special. Is that everyone? Everyone's right here? Yeah, everyone's right here, okay. Alright, next round. Steady on. Here they come. Oh, hello, Uni. Alright, get rid of that. I can take care of the rest of the shit. I just need you guys to kill the gold. Kick his ass. Wow, I think that golem's just only trying to get to me, so I don't even have to worry about it. We're doing fine. Oh, hey. 
Well, they're done killing the golem now, but unfortunately I'm a little too far away to actually get their attention. Okay, you guys gonna attack them? There you go, good. I can kill this other... There we go, now I'm maybe boosted again, super. Alright, Yudi's dead. At least the Yudi can't fear the Rex. If you're gonna do this with dinos, do something that can't be feared. Or use a creature that can't be feared by a Yudi. Everything gets affected by the Mammoth, so you just kinda gotta deal with that when it happens. <clears throat> I think, potentially, in theory, if you can get a round one that doesn't have any Mammoths, you should maybe be able to do this mission solo, um, because after... Where did everyone go? Is that them all over there? Anyway, um, after round one, you get access to the, like, tech grenade launcher thing. Um, and that's a pretty good weapon. So I think even with the intimidated debuff from the mammoths, you should be okay to get over there. Two, three, four... <clears throat> there we go. Just trying to keep all these guys in the center. So this should be the last round now. And we should have the Megapithecus They're here to deal with now. Yep, there he is. Oh, okay. The boss has taken increased damage as well. That's nice. That's good to know. So it's not like an actual boss. Cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, you are you are melting. I was expecting this to be even with the Rexes, I was expecting this to be a lot harder. I don't even know what's attack is it just the birds that are attacking me from above? Cause I I'm I'm I know that I'm getting hit. Oh hey. Everyone everyone attack the, the golem. I can't tell what I'm telling you to attack. A twack? A twack, yep. That's 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 proper English. Here's three Rexes, here's four Rexes. I'm missing a Rex somewhere. I don't know where it went. There it is. <clears throat> well, I'm still doing 790 to something. I don't know what. Elemental's dead. Okay, so the Elemental's over level 100. Round done. One for the there we go. Books. Good job. All right, and that is everything. Didn't didn't lose any rexes. I don't think anyone. This one was already damaged. I didn't even notice it was damaged before I started this mission. But that's good to know. How much damage did you guys take? You didn't really take any. You took a little bit of damage. You didn't really take any damage. Um. You didn't take any damage either, really. So yeah, this was very easy to do with creatures, which kind of figures. It's probably why you're not intended to do them with creatures. So hopefully this remains a glitch when Survival Ascended comes out in a supposedly October. I'm going to guess like mid-December it might come out, though. Anyway, um, I don't have to do this mission again. So I'm going to take all this element from my phase pistols that I will need to use. And then what kind of loot did we get here? Oh, I got some riot. That's actually not very good riot. The hazard stuff I'm going to hold on to, though, just in case I need it. Okay, well, cool. I'm going to get all the Rexes crowd up again, and then I will meet you at the next mission. So I'll see you soon. Okay, we are here now at the next mission. This is the first of our four hunt missions for this biome, Dearly Departed, which is to uh, track down and kill a brute Megaloceros, which is the deer, as the name implies. Um, I've got two plans for this, just because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to perch anywhere with the Bloodstalker. I'm going to try using the face pistol first, though. If that doesn't work, or if it looks like I'm about to die, or something else dumb 
and ridiculous happens, I do have the Giga as well that I can reattempt this with. So I will show boast. Boast. I will show both attempts. Um, this one I think might be okay, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. So, uh, dearly departed. So let's see how this goes. Um, so, for these hunt missions in the Arctic biome, all four of them are in the infinite like the blizzard of the area of the map, which is uh, over here, like on the right-hand side, pretty much. Um, it's this entire right-hand portion of the match. Wait, match it, map is just covered by an eternal that, blizzard. It, during the day, it makes visibility... It ruins visibility. You can't really see anything. Um, so if you're going to do these hunt missions, I recommend doing them at night because, I, as you can see, I can see these tracks from pretty far away. I don't have to really worry about anything. Scanner active. And as I have mentioned previously, if you do not gather enough tracks between each of your encounters with the creature you're hunting down, it will not spawn at the last location. So, keep that in mind, I suppose. Huh, Give me this. Look at that. Commencing scan. The only other downside I'm gonna have right now is that I'm gonna have to find What's that over somewhere there? to perch without really being able to see. I think that's our Megalosaurus right there. I found something. Okay, well, this is also why I brought the tech rifle. So, hopefully this works. go. Come here, you. Um, the easier way to do this than with a Bloodstalker is going to be to use a, uh, not a Giga. If you're using a face pistol, I would recommend using a Hover Skiff instead of a Bloodstalker. You can unlock the Hover Skiff only on Genesis, I think, and then you can get it from any difficulty of the boss. You can do the Gamma difficulty boss and unlock it. So that would be my only recommend recommendation to you find a fabulous people. But this is working so far just fine, so I just gotta make sure that I keep fire on it. There we go. Um, I started this mission with 672 element, I believe it was, so we'll see how much we end up using. This. this is a, obviously going to be an easier hunt since Diana it's active. just a little deer, but whatever. Oh, Wait a tick, and I'll scan this for you. Commencing All right, scan. and you can see it is beginning to turn daytime now, Let so it's be, it's getting to be a little difficult to actually Commencing see all scan. these tracks. So yeah, definitely oh, do these missions at, at night. At least in this biome, definitely, definitely do them at Hold night. Up, What's this? Oh, thanks. Oh, did you, it was the track just right Sliding. under you, really? It is under this. you. Wow, that's that fantastic. Hey, give me that. Aha! Uh -huh. I found something! Huh, will you look at that? Commencing scan. What's that over there? There you are. Ooh, can I latch onto these trees here? I can. Perfect. Come here, you. There we go. Okay, so these trees are a good thing to latch onto, and I, I don't have to be very high for the for the deer either. So that's a that's a positive as well. I will say the other thing I like about this pistol um, is that I don't have to reload at all. I can just hold down the trigger and just sit here. So I'm loving this thing. I wish I could get better ones of this face pistol on Genesis 1, but I can't. You can only get them on Genesis 2 from the missions there. So it's unfortunate. Um, are you going to run? gonna run. Let's have a look. Scanner active. Alright. One more uh -huh. encounter with you. I found something. 
Okay. Huh, will you look at that? Fuck off. Let me scan this right quick. Aha! I found something. Good to hear. Huh, will you look at that? I think there's just gonna be a bunch of other just normal Slayer. deer with this guy I once I this. find out where he's at. What's that over there? At least I think. Let me scan this right quick. Huh, will you look at that? Huh, will you look Fuck at off. that? I guess the uh, other disadvantage of using a blood stalker is that a lot of stuff is a lot of predators are gonna Slayer. target you I while you're just walking this. around. So What's that over there? If you've got a pretty strong blood stalker, you should be fine. Otherwise, be careful, I guess. There it is. Let's have a look. Scanner active. What's that? That is a there? lot of wolves, my god. There they are. Hold up, they just all they just all spawned in, it looks like. Doing this from a wall is a little difficult. You're gonna max out like 104, aren't you? I think 105. And that is because you've got a mate boost somewhere. I don't know if it's the one next to you or if it's the one back there. It's probably the one next to you, actually. So in hindsight, you should be the one I kill right now. If you're using the face pistol, bring a good tech rifle as well, just in case, like, that guy off to the left right there is, you'll be able to hit him as well, because the tech rifle has higher range than the face pistol does. At least these guys aren't moving, so, it's all mercy. No, you're still, are you mate boosted from the actual target? Oh, you're all brutes, that's why. I think if these if these were just normal ones, they wouldn't be boosted. Oh, I can actually reach you from here. I don't think I'd be able to. Thought you'd be a little too far for me to actually reach you. Get this one first. Okay, so the actual brute that I was targeting initially doesn't count for a mate boost for the other ones. So that's good to know. I think the main brute does have more health than the other ones, though, but this is working pretty well. Oh, yeah, you definitely have more health. You're gonna take a little longer to kill. That's fine. Yeah, we've used barely, like, 11, no, barely 15, um, element for this entire hunt, just with basic face pistols, so that's good to know. I imagine we use probably, we're gonna use probably closer to 20 or 30 on the other brute hunts. Get off. Hey, stop that. Thank you. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. There's our first alpha hunt mission of this biome done. Okay, don't know how I got up there. Whatever. What did I get here? I got a... I got spoiled meat, apparently. Cut saddle. 
Capro, don't care. Fur. Fur, I don't really care either. I don't have either of those. I don't care about chitin. Like Ethereum. Yeah, I don't really care about any of this, it looks like. Okay, well, I'm going to make our way down to the next mission. And, oh, joy. Um, and then I'll see you there, so. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <coughs> okay, as you can see, we're here at our next mission. Home is where the pouch is, which is our, I think, our only escort mission for this biome. We will, again, be using our Giga that I brought over from Extinction. If you are doing this solo, I, I'm pretty sure a Giga might be the only way you can do this by yourself. Minimum, you want to have 1200% uh, damage. This one's at 15, almost 1600% damage. So, do if that what you will. Uh, same strategy as the previous escort mission that we did in the bog for the Beals of Bufo. Just keep it, keep whatever you're escorting roughly around your feet and try to stay a bit close to it there other than that the only other challenge that this that doing this mission in this biome is going to give us is that we have to deal with the avalanches that will happen periodically on any of the slopes and they will not only do damage to the creature we're escorting it'll also knock it back a bit a bit and if any other creatures are there when that happens they're gonna kill the creature before you can get back to it um so that's gonna be the only other issue so it's a lot of fun i don't i don't, I don't enjoy these missions come on critter follow us Oh, the other thing I can mention for these is that when you start the mission, don't have your creatures too close to the mission terminal, because otherwise the creature won't always spawn. So that's the only, only other advice I can give you. Head for that checkpoint over there. So this one, this escort mission will also have three er separate areas where there's going to be a uh, a group of dire bears just sleeping on the ground. You want to, well, with a Giga, it, you should have enough range on your attack to get rid of them pretty easily. Just from like here, yeah. See, that's that's not too bad. Okay, if you're using a Rex with a pair of people, though. Uh, you'll want to try to get ahead of whatever you're escorting, or get ahead of the baby Procoptodon, and take those out pretty quickly, because they'll they'll kill your they'll kill the creature in like two maybe three hits. So we haven't taken a hit yet though, so that's a good that's a good sign. I completed this mission once, as you may have seen, but that was like two weeks ago, so. Now I'm just kind of hoping that an avalanche doesn't happen right here because that having an avalanche done. here has Onto been the, next one. the most troublesome location for me, at least. Like it, most of the time when I failed this this mission, even when I was using the Giga, it was because an avalanche happened here, knocked the yep, see there's that, there's one. It knocked the Procoptodon and all of the other creatures attacking it all the way down. I didn't even notice that there was another creature right there attacking it as well. See, he's getting knocked all the way back down. I think he's going to get caught on this rock, though. Possibly my foot as well. Okay, I just barely saved it right there. Okay, cool. Oh, damn. Uh, I forgot... Uh, harvest. Disable. Okay. I was wondering why I was moving so slow. I forgot to disable resource harvesting. Make sure you do that as well. Make it make your make make your time a bit easier. So we've taken quite a few hits there. We should be okay though. Just stay a little bit ahead of it right here. Preempt the bears. The um, going down this corridor here, should you should be fine. 
the trees right above my player character right there is where the next creatures are gonna be are gonna spawn. Are you? I'm like right here. Hey, midget, move it. It's slowing down. As you can see, we've got plenty of time awesome. to do this mission though. So if you need to get ahead of the of the little dude, if it's safe to do so, yeah, get ahead of it. Kill whatever you see in front of you. Um, I, I do recommend doing it on the easier difficulties, though, just to get the path down so that you can so that you can get the turns a little bit ahead of when they happen, so that you can keep keep up with it. Um, we might actually fail this. So yeah, right here. So I know we're gonna go this way. Deodon are going to be the other big issue just because they take so many hits to kill. Even with how much damage I have, they still take like 3 4 hits. They just have a lot of health. So, up here will be our last bit of dire bears that we have to deal with as well. And then we should be this will be our last group of enemies that we have to deal with. It's slowing down. I'm right next to you. There we go. Here's more stuff coming. Don't stop. Stop hooping. Okay. Still got 900 health. I think we might be good now. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any other creatures are gonna spawn now, so I think we're good. So there you go. That's how this mission gets done. Very easy to do with a Giga, especially if you're alone. If you have a partner or two, you can do it with a pair of mate boosted Rexes. Um, it it might be a bit harder to do though, so just keep that in mind. But it should be very possible. Just make sure they're strong Rexes, mutated if you're if you have the time. And yeah, that's that's really all I got for you. All right, cool. And I just have to go back and pick up my Bloodstalker. Bye, Kangaroo. See ya. Test complete, and our crit right, is intact. What do we get here? So I'd say you passed. Got some. I got some nice flak actually. Got some rail guns. I don't think I'm going to use the railguns for anything, but I guess it's nice to have them. I got three really good railguns, actually, okay. Uh, crap, I think everything else here is crap. I don't really care about the pistol. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to the mission terminal, because that's where I left my Bloodstalker, and then I will see you at the next mission. Okay. We're back here now at the next mission, which is our second hunt mission, Hide and Seek. Again, same plan, at least initially. G'day there. Hello. Um, phase pistol. Hopefully that works. This one is to hunt down a brute ferox. I am hoping, because I believe the ferox has a rock throw attack, I'm hoping that doesn't kill me off of my Bloodstalker. If it does, this might be one that I have to use a Giga on. But we're going to try with the face pistol and, and see how that goes. Also, I waited for night to come back around. It is about this 1930 is when Time it looks like it's dark enough for me to actually follow the tracks reasonably Let's well. So Scanner active. for your information, there you go. Oh, OK, kind of. These ones don't really have the red glow for some Hold reason. Up, What's this? But I can still see them. I can still see the Wait, tracks themselves pretty far away. So that's good. Let me scan this right quick. Huh? Will you look at that? Aha! I found something. So I believe this one is going to take us along the same path as the Dearly Departed right hunt mission did. Huh? So we should be able to perch in the same spots as we did there. Let's have a look. Scanner active. 
Hold up, survivor. What's this? What's that over there? You should be showing up in just a moment, Slide I believe. In. I should stone this. Huh, will you look at that? Let's have a look. Scanner active. Ow. Okay, so the rock throw does not throw me off of my Bloodstalker, but I do believe this guy has an attack that does dismount you. So I do have to be a little careful. I don't think I really did anything to it there though, so why did why did it just leave? Aha! I found something. Hold up, survivor. It What's just this? lost interest in me and just became small Mencing again. Scan. And I don't know why, I haven't seen Aha. that happen before. I found something. Yeah, huh. hi. Look at that. The rock throw does do quite a bit Aha. of damage though, I so I do have to be a little bit careful of that at least. There it is. Wait a tick, and I'll scan this for you. Huh, will you look at that? What's that over there? Right up here. Slow down. I should scan this. Let's have a look. Scanner active. Huh, will you look at that? Don't get on the fucking. What are you? What are you doing? Blood soccer. Oh my god. Okay. I think I broke the mission. Uh -huh. Not that I'm gonna I argue, but you know. I, oh, that's a rhino. Uh -huh. Hi. I, found something. I don't think it's supposed to ow, be like that. Huh. Like, I'm pretty you sure you're that. supposed to actually fight me, not just like Wait, it did, and run around for a minute, you. hit me a few times, and then become tiny. Hold up, and this? it looks like your health actually dropped. Uh -huh. I found something. Because I know I haven't hit you that much. Unless you just, unless oh, these just don't have a lot of health to start with, What's that? I don't what actually know how much what the health of a Ferox huh. is like. Will you look at that? Uh -huh. So I perhaps they just don't have that much to to begin with. Let's have a look. Who knows? Scanner active. There you are. Oh, there's another Ferox right there. Okay. So. Dire Wolf Saber. Oh, hello. Yep, unsure how you've been damaged this much, but I'm not gonna argue with it, just die. At least you're not running away this time. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you are. Okay, it's dead. I've, uh, I've cheated. We're gonna use this just because I can't actually hit them under that tree branch right there. 
and I've got 12 minutes, so. Alright, well, besides the, the Brute Ferox just, like, disappearing into the ether, this mission is also pretty easy, apparently. Even if it didn't disappear, I'm confident that we would have been able to complete this mission without really too many issues. This doesn't seem really that difficult. There we go. The aiming on this is a little weird, I have to admit now. Just because it doesn't actually aim where I'm... It's not aiming where I'm aiming it. And... You're dead. Hunter 1, Prey 0. What are you Good doing? Good on ya. What are you doing? Okay, Bloodstalker. Hey. Dude. Chill out. Okay. Okay, cool. We're good. Get off these rocks. go up here and not worry about dying. Okay, what did I get for loot? Uh, besides the show, oh, I got a, some nice right loots at least, so that's that's nice. I don't really care about any of the other stuff here though. Okay, well, I'm going to make my way to the next mission and I will see you in a moment once I get there. Okay, and we are back here at the ice fishing mission which is the best mission in the game i say with all the sarcasm in the world um the gamma and beta difficulty versions of this mission are very easy to do you have more than enough time more than enough fish to spawn however for the alpha mission you're kind of tight on time depending on how lucky you get with the fish spawns but regardless Initially, when you first start the mission, enough fish for you to actually complete this don't actually spawn. So you're going to have to go down there, you're going to have to kill a bunch of the fish uh, as soon as you start the mission, and then after that you should you have enough spot mission fishing? in. You should have enough fish in the mission area to, uh... I don't actually see any fish. that one I don't I only saw the one what okay there I'm just blind there hopefully that'll be enough okay we're gonna do this one first I guess okay right trigger regardless of what what thing you're pl what console you're playing on um, and then as soon as a fish latches on, it's just a bunch of button prompts between the D-pad and the A, B, X, Y. So you gotta catch 16 fish total. We've got 20 minutes to do so. It's not... It's not the hardest thing in the world. It's just actually getting the fish. Keep big fish. Um, toggle third person. No? Orbit camera. Orbit camera's the one I want. There, so you can go into orbit camera down here. You can see that there's two fish, three fish. No, two fish, three fish? I don't know. And now we're really just waiting 
Oh, that's a dead fish. That one's not dead, though. There we go, see? Got one right here. Um, regardless of if I pass or fail this right now, I'm only giving this one attempt because this mission is easy, it's just very time consuming. Um, and, yeah, did I? I did. So we're just gonna sit here, do some ice fishing. I'll join back with you in a minute. Or I'll join back whenever I catch more fish. Or I'll just leave all this in. I don't freaking know. I'm fishing. Okay, there's... There we go. There are three other fish nearby, it looks like. Um, you may have noticed at the top there, we have, there's a timer going on for how long you have to actually reel in the fish. Um, on the alpha difficulty, you have roughly just enough time to actually reel in the fish if you hit every button prompt, like, on time. Uh, gamma, beta, you have more than, more than enough time to actually do it though so if you wait too long between the button prompts though the line will snap and the fish will escape and if you hit a incorrect button prompt the line will snap as well and the fish will escape again there we go there's four I recommend just using the orbit camera here. That guy's coming for us, it looks like. No? No. Um, yeah, I just recommend using the orbit, ca orbit camera. Um, just so you can keep an eye on what fish are nearby you at whatever hole you're at. And so you can see when a fish is actually coming to bite on your bait. There we go. orbit. I know I've got a couple more fish here. There's one. There was two. I don't know where the other one went though. There it is. It's right under me. So yeah, I've got two fish right over here still. Three fish, actually. I lied. There we go. And I still see two fish near this hole, but neither of them are really paying attention right now. There we go. that one. Okay, I'm gonna switch fishing holes to this one. Oh, looks like it's daytime now as well, so. Oh, we got some otter in here as well. Is this a bad hole? I see there's two fish right there, so there are fish right here. There we go.
fish. We've got eight now. I've got three fish nearby right here, it looks like. Possibly four. I can't, like, wiggle... You can't, like, wiggle the bait or anything either, so you just kind of got to throw it and wait. Riveting gameplay, I know. There you go. Nice fish. There we go. We're at nine now. It does look like there's plenty of fish here now as well, so... And there's like five over there. There we go. Hello. Be captured. So I don't have to do this mission ever again. Well, at least not anytime soon. Had ten fish now. There's two more right there, there's two more over there. And there's two more over that way, three more over that way. Hi, Otter. Come on. There you go. landed there we go okay next fish I kind of hope all these dead fish bodies stay after after a mission's done because if they do that'd be a good way to tame otters in in this little pond because fish don't normally spawn in here they only spawn here for the mission Still got 10 minutes to get five fish okay you know maybe i was just really unlucky the first few times i did this mission because every other time i've done this mission i've been cutting it like seconds close to the end to actually get the fish the last fish that i need and there's plenty of fish right here but they're not freaking biting oh now they're biting didn't even see that one attack me There's four of you right here. There's five of you right here, even. That's even better. Copper eight. And there's one under the under the ground. That one's that one's out of bounds, so that one doesn't count. But he's there. Come on. fine. Man, that's very bright. You stupid fish. There we go. Oh, here's an, like, 13, I think, is what, what number this is. from. Come on, 
I need three more. Spawn? Yeah, okay. So there's a bunch of fish over there. Get up here. I'll try this one. Oh, nope, there's still a bunch of fish here. Okay, cool. There is four that are all just chilling. Yes? Yes? No? No. Jerk. There we go. There we go. I need two more, I think. And I think I'm good on time. fish. There you go. Okay. Six minutes for one more fish. mission is done. Never have to do this mission again. Good for me. Alright, well, yeah, the only real tip that I can give for this mission is if you're doing the alpha, go and kill some of the fish before you actually start fishing so that a bunch more spawn, and then you'll have enough, you'll have more than enough fish to actually complete the mission. Otherwise, enough of them don't spawn initially. That's really the only advice you need for this mission. It's very easy to do. So, I will join back with you in just a moment once I get to the next mission location. So I will see you soon. Okay, we are here at our next hunt mission. This one is the Mammoths on Parade mission, which is obviously to hunt a brute mammoth pack group, family. I don't know what to call a group of mammoths. Um, same plan as before. I feel like I might have to use the Giga on this one though. I might have to use this on the next two hunts, actually, just because game nearby. Time the Mammoths will lower the damage that the Phase Pistol does. Hold up, Survivor. What's this? Um, I'll definitely have to use What's the Giga on the, the next hunt mission, though, the last What's one. That over there? Because my Bloodstalker can indeed be feared by a UD, and I obviously don't want to deal with that, so... What's that over there? Good thing I have a Giga. It's also nice that these hunt missions have don't active. have don't have you uh, uh -huh. follow like a hundred fifty tracks like some of the other ones do. Let me scan this right quick. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, there Wait, it is. Did and I scan this Didn't spawn immediately. What's that over there? Wait a tick, and I'll scan this for you. What's that over there? Oh, hello. Huh. Okay, so Look right up here I can go. Alright, 
well, you can't reach me up here. Cool. Good to know. You do have quite a lot of health. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll see how long this takes. If it's if it's a group of brute mammoths at the end, I might need I might need to use the Giga. But if it's just the one brute mammoth and a bunch of normal mammoths, then I should be okay using the pistol, provided I can find somewhere to perch out of reach of them. I'm also going to have to switch this pistol out in a minute. At least its health is dropping at a pretty steady pace. Alright, goodbye. Let me scan this right quick. Scanner active. What's that over there? Alrighty. Aha! I found something! Oh, yep, thank you for the poop. What's that over there? There we go. Aha! I found something! Commencing scan. Aha! I found something! Slow down. I should scan this. Oh, hello. What's that over there? I don't know if that Yudi just a second ago was trying to yell at me, or if it was yelling at someone else, but if it was yelling at me, I might be able to stay out of range of, of one by being above it, which is good information to have. But I also don't think that's true, because I remember Griffins and Argies getting feared by a, uh, uh, by a Yudi when I'm above it. Come on, get it. Yeah, I remember a Griffin and RG that I would, that I'd been riding before, trying to get the trophies from Udis, and I'd get feared by them when I was like above them, flying around. So, or even when I was just passing through the forest, I'd go through at, the, at a bad time and get feared by one. So I don't think that actually works, but I guess I'll have to wait and see to find out. Honestly, cannot wait to get to Genesis 2 just so I can get better face pistols. Because they are uh, fantastic. I am loving them. Wow, you're doing a lot of damage. You're a high level. 140, yep. Yeah. I got a I almost called you a bear, you're a boar. Evil pig. Uh huh, you me, look at that. You. Let me scan this right quick. Aha! I found something. Let's see. 
a mammoth Aha, up there. I found something. What's that over there? Huh, they are. Look at that. Fucking launch yourself. I'm not trying to do that. Oh my god, what are you doing? There. Okay, and they are just normal mammoths. I think I should have enough time to kill all of them then. Get the brute down first, and then we'll target the other three. about a third of its max health, looks like, I'm gonna say. Just slowly melt all of its health away. Man, this makes these these missions super freaking easy. This is great. Um, also, I did discover that you can, if you're just playing on only Genesis 1, um, provided you can find alpha creatures to kill, either in the ocean, like a alpha Mosasaur, alpha Tuso, alpha Lidsichthys, or an alpha Carno in one of the other biomes, you should be able to get to level 120, which means you should be able to learn the engram for the phase pistol just on a normal playthrough of Genesis. But I don't know how often the alpha creatures spawn on this map. I don't... I'm not sure if I've seen any. No, I think I've seen an alpha Tuso in the ocean. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen any other alphas though. But if you kill alpha creatures while you have a chibi, in your offhand slot, you'll be able to get up to five extra levels onto your player. And then doing the gamma and beta boss fight will give you another 10 levels. So that should bring you up to a max level of 120, which will be high enough for you to get the face pistol. There you are. Um, I don't know why these guys are over here like this. Yeah, see, that's that's what I didn't like. It looks like it's just you, just you guys that are doing it though. It's not the uh, it's not the brute that does it too, which is good. And your your guys' health is melting really fast too. Oh, uh, you've got a mate boost now as well, so that's unfortunate. So you're doing even less damage now. That's fine. Even less now. That's not that's not as fine. Jesus. I don't want to keep... Ooh. Okay. Can I hit the one back there? I can indeed. That's the one I want to get rid of first. This one's almost dead, so... And now that I'm not attached to a damn wall anymore, it'll be easy for me to keep fire on this one. 
I say and then immediately stop getting fire on it. Good job, me. Your health is melting pretty quick. Good. Okay, so this is another easy hunt mission to do with just a Bloodstalker and a face pistol. Even on official servers. stuck. There we go. That's good. And then I'm doing the 157 now. You stupid fucking. The only downside to not being attached to a wall is that the bloodsucker is going to poop. And it's going to go through its animation where it makes you lose, lose your aim. If you're using the pistol, it's not a big deal, but the tech now rifle... That's what I call a hunt. God damn it, I don't want to... Come here, you. Hey, dingbat. Get down here. Alright. Well, there you go. Mammoth on Parade is done. What do we get? We got a Titanosaur. Sa I got a... I got a Rex Saddle. Okay. Um... Get rid of that... Get rid of all these. I don't really need most of this stuff, actually. I'll keep the hazmat stuff, just in case. I might need it for later. But there we go. Okay, so that's our next mission done. I will meet you back in just a minute once I get to whatever our next mission is going to be. So I will see you soon. Alrighty. We are back here at the next mission. This one is our one retrieval mission for this map, Mound Over Matter. We have got to go and get a couple of... I need to actually start the mission. We have to go get a couple of gold nuggets from vaguely that direction. Uh, you can do this with just two Rexes. Make sure they're mate boosted. These are my mutated ones. Five it's into melee, test. five into Should health be that have been stacked. Here's what this one's stats are right now. It's still injured from the from before I haven't bothered healing it but this mission shouldn't be too bad Let's now now that I have Scanner fantastic active. saddles and fantastic rexes Proximity check. so as with the yep, other um, whatever it's called with the other retrieval mission that we did on in the bog bile I'm losing my train of thought, like, rapidly. Um, we shouldn't have too much to worry about here. The Carnos do a little bit of bleed damage, but it's not very much. What just attacked me? Oh, am I being attacked by frickin' Microraptors now? Awesome. We should have plenty of time to get this mission done as well. Um, just keep pushing forward. I suppose... That you could do this. Well, you can definitely do it with a Giga to make it a lot easier as well. But you can also do it with like a Bloodstalker, just to go and stay out of reach of all the creatures, just hang around, hang around close to these Roll checkpoints that we have to hit, but still out of reach of whatever's trying to attack you, and you'll be fine. And then you just have to, just have to worry about what happens at the end. I do have my Bloodstalker in a cryopod now. I'll throw him out. Um, once we actually get the gold nuggets that we need. I do have resource harvesting disabled on these two Rexes, just so that they don't get overweight with all the pelt that they're, they would inevitably gather otherwise. Let's have a look. Scanner active. There. Oh, hello. Getting close. Yep, get rid of these, get rid of these pigs. Oh, 
Good Rex. Fuck off, you little shit. You are not wanted. Alright, a couple of bears here we'll have to deal with, I imagine. Yep, they're both coming after me. your X. Attack that. Attack that pig. Let me get over to this checkpoint and then I'll uh, worry about you killing things. Nightcrafter's dead. Um, again, for this mission, as I've mentioned uh, the previous times we did this in whatever Haven't part that was like a year ago. Um, for this mission specifically, be on something that when you get dis- that if you get dismounted by a Microraptor, you're not gonna end up on the floor with everything attacking you. So, a Rex, a Trike, probably not a Trike actually, that's probably too low, but you don't really want to use a Trike on the alpha difficulty anyway. So yeah, a Rex, a UD, a UD would be, would be a good option as well. Rexes do more damage though, and I believe they attack a little bit faster than the UD does. Fine, plenty of time. I was right on top of it. Let Come me on. scan this right quick. Get to scanning. Got some stuff coming from behind. Rex back there can take care of it. My scanners are picking up something, but it's a ways off. Ways off. Well, I want to make sure I keep the mate boost, so I need to make sure this Rex stays with me. Oh, big guy. Alright, we're good. Oh my god, okay. Don't know how I got dismounted there. Potentially came off of the cliff above me. Good to know. Fuck off. Alright, moving on. We're good though. We're fine. A little scared, but we're good. Commencing I didn't mean to just smack my mic, sorry. Fuck you. Oh, that Carno died immediately. Sorry. Scanner say we're getting closer. All right, we're good. Next checkpoint. Yeah, the end should be right down here. Get off my butt. Commencing story. I don't know what's attacking me still. You're almost there. Nothing. Okay. Now I just have to get the two gold gold nuggets down here. 
There's going to be a bunch of piles of snow we have to dig up to try and find what's up, what's under them. Some of them will have nothing. Right Two of them will have the gold nuggets we need. A and then others can, can have either Prolovia or Mycoraptors. So be, be wary, I suppose. Where's where's my Rex at? Whatever. I'm at the end right now. It doesn't really matter where the Rex is. Let me just clear out this area a bit. And then I'll be good to... Oh, hi. My god. Okay. We're gonna have my sword out What's just in case. Nothing. Aha! I found something. Oh, hello. Uh, it seems kind of random which snow snow mounds huh, have the uh that. oh leave. Oh god! Oh my god! You still hit me from that far away? Damn! I didn't notice that there was one right next to the Rexes either. Man, that guy did not give a crap about me. Okay. What's that over there? Ah! Fuck off! Here. Huh, will you look at that? Nothing. Aha! I found something. Nothing. We've got some time. Yeah, I still got plenty What's of time. That over there? Nothing. Huh, will you look at that? Jesus fuck. Doing fine. Oh my god. There. I can't- I, I need to remember that I can't attack while I'm sprinting. Aha, Can I, I have something. my- Nope. I can't have it yet, apparently. Is it gonna be in the last one that I look? What's that this is the there? first time I've had to look in almost every single one. Whoop. Goodbye. Again, as with the previous one, make sure you're hitting all these checkpoints here. And you'll be fine. I would also like you to keep sprinting, damn it. There you go. Very easy. Alright, let me get back to my Rexes really quick. I don't know if that was like a mission unit that was attacking them, or... Or what. Get off the wall. Okay, we're good. So what did I get for this mission? Ooh, I got some Riot, I got some Flak, I got a lot of Riot. Wow, that's really good. 700 armor. 600 armor, damn. And a Roll Rat Saddle. Okay, I'm going to sort out that, that loot that I got, cryopod these two up, and then I will meet you at whatever our next mission is. I think it's another hunt, so i got to wait for night time again. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, and we are back here at our final hunt mission for the Arctic Biome. This is Ruffle Some Feathers, which is to hunt down a Brute Eutyranus. This is the one I'm unsure if I'll be able to use the Bloodstalker to help me complete. I'm hoping I'll be able to, um, but if I can't, we'll just try again, and the Giga should be able to take it out without any issue. But we're going to try the same same thing we've been doing for the other ones first. The Bloodstalker and the Face Pistol. And then I did put a new Face Pistol in my hot part down there, so this I should be fun. fine. Time for a hunt. It's also 1845, roughly, in-game. Wait a tick, and I'll scan this. So, should be close enough to night for uh -huh. me to actually see I all these tracks something. pretty easily. There's one. There's, there's, okay. Hold there's up, one. survivor. What's this? Let me scan this right quick. Can you get off me? Commencing scan. Wait a tick, and I'll scan this for you. There we go. I'm hoping this Slightly. takes the same path as the 
Mammoth did, and ends up in the same area at the end. Because if it does, that'll make this very easy. What's that over there? Because in that case, I already know all the areas that I can perch at to be safe. Hopefully. Let me scan this right quick. That looks to be the case so far. Stop climbing walls, damn it. Um. Okay, that works, whatever. You're somehow still in range of this. I'll go with it. You're an X creature as well, okay, so being an X creature doesn't matter. I know we've. We, there was the X Sarko, right? in the bog biome, because normally X creatures take reduced damage and do increased damage. I wasn't sure if it would do more reduced damage, I guess. But no, it's just it's just the same across the board for everything it looks like. Which is good. I'm happy to, I'm happy to see that. It's good to know. Your health is melting pretty shit. Hi. Nice of you to get a little closer to me. I do have one more phase pistol if the one I'm using right now breaks as well, so I should have plenty. Also, you don't seem to be roaring at all. Like, you're definitely close enough to start yelling at me, but you just don't want to, I guess, for some reason. Whatever. <clears throat> Aside from the, the brute Ferox just disappearing and just me not having to kill it at all for some reason, I don't know what was up with that, but all these all these hunt missions are seeming pretty pretty easy with the face pistol. It's great. Slow down. I should scan this. It's not really that important, but like Genesis. I've been avoiding all like videos or information about Genesis 2 that I can. What's that over there? Um cuz I haven't played the map. I haven't even Let looked at the map way. yet. Besides like the trailer, I haven't done anything with Genesis Wait, 2. So I'm looking forward to finishing Genesis 1 so I can Finally, I get there something. and see what everything is. Get off me. Huh, Good times to be that. had, my friends. Let me scan this right quick. Okay. I Hold up, think What's it's going to be in the same spot as the mammoth. Slow down. I should scan this. I just like barely dodged you as well, which is just great. Alright, let's get rid of you. Are you I'm assuming you're gonna have a bunch of Carnos as your as the other creatures I'm gonna have to kill, right? Just because you're a, a, a UD, you're gonna have Carnos, that makes sense. Or are you going to have a bunch of regular UDs with you as well? I guess we'll find out as soon as you start running again. spot as the mammoths did, which means I'll be Aha, fine to perch something. in the same place I did Aha, previously. I something. Hold up, What's Obviously, this? it's better to do this with a this hover skiff if you have access to one. I don't because I, I haven't done this. the boss yet, um, but yeah, you'll. Aha, there's less something. risk to you and to your creatures if you use the hover skiff. Let me scan this right quick. 
we going to the same area? Huh, yeah, look we are. At that. Oh, maybe not. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, you... Okay, you have Karnos and a Brute Yudi. Oh, damn. Um, okay, let's see. I've gotten a little bit closer on this wall. This works. Get the fuck up here. Okay, well that that worked somehow. I'll I'll accept that. Oh wait, no, I want you gone first. Can you? Can you chill? Are you okay? There we go, that's a little better, kind of. Fucking shit, really. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm good still. Hey. Just a little ridiculous. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the I'm gonna have to take the giga out just because I'm Oh yeah, my my uh my bloodsucker's gonna die, unfortunately. Yep, there it goes. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Are you just not gonna attack me at all? Okay, if you don't want to attack me, that's fine. Okay, well... The Bloodstalker and a pistol will work. But ideally, you want the UDs to spawn closer to that cliff right there. So that you can actually just sit up there and, and shoot them from above.
I didn't mean to jump off there. I don't know why I did. Oh, you're just completely focused on me as well. You don't care about the Giga at all. Alright, whatever. I'll take that, I guess. Yeah, six, seven minutes, essentially, to drain the rest of this UD's health is more than enough time. I should actually just stop for a second and, and let my, uh... Giga's stamina recover so I don't put it to sleep. Actually, fucking your stamina drain or your torpor drains so fast that doesn't even matter. What am I doing? What am I saying? What am I thinking? Nothing. Alright, well, I'm gonna go have to go. I'm gonna have to go and get another one of the replacement bloodstalkers and possibly make sure I grab one that's a bit faster. Because I don't like how slow the one I've been using has been. I also need to restock my food. Alright, I don't know why this isn't attacking me anymore, because it was earlier. So, here's a very way... a very way? Here's a very easy way to do this mission, I guess. Let me drop all the pelts. And I'll let you hold on to the food. Okay, what did I get for rewards? I didn't even check the, all the rewards I got last time. No, I did. I lied. I got a new helmet. I got more boots. I got some uh, flat. I got a bunch of flat gloves, actually. By a bunch, I mean two. A uh, shotgun. That's a nice riot shield. That's twenty thousand durability on a riot shield. I'll take it. And that's really it. And then my broken armor that I have to go repair now. Okay, well there we go. There's that mission done. I will join back with you in just a moment after I get a new Bloodstalker and we get to the next mission. So I will see you shortly. Okay, we are here at our next mission now. This is the Saber Slalom. Slalom? Slalom? Anyway, this is the first race mission for the Arctic Biome. We can just leave the Bloodstalker here or whatever other creature you, you used to get up here. Um, it's a race, a race mission, so it's extremely easy to do. Just hit the checkpoints, don't fall off of the track or anything, and you'll be completely fine. There's no reason for me to keep trying Three, to check your inventory. Two, one, start! Alrighty. Race is another easy one. Well, all of them are easy, rather. Um, there's really only, like, one lip that's up here as we're going down this mountain that you kind of have to worry about it, because if you hit it wrong, it'll throw you off of the mountain. Um, and let's see, I think I can just run over it for the most part, as long as I'm not, like, going at it from the side. Like, right here. That right there. If you hit that wrong, or if you're not going fast enough or something, It'll launch you off the side of the mountain, and you'll have to restart the mission. Not that that's a big deal. Um, again, very easy mission. I'd imagine if you were actually doing these race missions with other people, you would Let's whoever got first play. place would get the would get the reward, and the other people wouldn't get anything. I'd imagine. I'm not sure. Obviously, I don't, don't really have a way to test that with another person right now. And I believe other, like, normal wild creatures should ignore you while you're doing the race, so... You shouldn't really have anything to worry about. I don't even remember where this race ends at. Huh? 
We're good, we still got a minute. We're over halfway done now. Boss to survivor! I guess be careful right here as well, so you don't get caught on the crystals, the but out. don't really have to. That's right at the very end of the race, as long as you're still doing pretty good on time, you should be fine. And here's the end right up here. I, what what uh, the heck just so happened to me? Do we get a victory lap? Alright then. Well, there you go. You're the best in the simulation. You are correct, I am you the must best. Be because I am the only and I'm a hologram. Alrighty, well there you go. There's our race mission done. Uh, none of the race missions really give you that much loot, obviously. Some saddles, some decent enough armor, I suppose. Um, but that's it. That's that's that mission, that race mission done. I'll see you at the next mission in just a moment. Alrighty, we are here now at the next mission, searching the Fro Zone. This is a like location exploration mission. Uh, just follow the little hand icon on the bottom of your screen for where each of your little orb objectives are. Let's I get together. Get you. And I know the first location is in here. No, so every everywhere in this cave can have the uh, little blue glowy orb ball things. So. But most, most of the time, they're all in this room here. Oh, there's two right next to each other. Super. Oh, one down here, and then one over there. Exactly what we're looking for. There you go. Alright, under the ice. This is the ice fishing mission area is where it's taking us to right now. Also very easy to do. Yeah, um, if tough. I'm remembering correctly, the last one should be a little difficult just because it's in the infinite blizzard area. There's that one. Here's this one. Oh man, there's that one. waterway which is just straight back up that way obviously as you can tell all right that's fine okay I've got one here somewhere Oh, there it is. That's the stuff. But we need heaps more. Okay, this way. Are they all gonna be back here? I feel like I missed one back behind me. Yep, here's this one. Get on the bug. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, one right there. Yeah, that's the stuff. There it is. 
Okay. And we got one more area to go. Oh my god. There. I'm out. Those. This way, this way, so, yeah, somewhere in these trees, there is. All right, this way. Not oh, there you are. More. Okay, right up here. Out. I'm aware, thank you. I don't I don't see it though. Oh, I was right on top of it. We did it! There we go. This should be Got it. <clears throat> that one was hard to see. I guess if you want to make this mission a little easier for yourself, just because the blizzard makes it hard to see, do it at night. <clears throat> but otherwise this mission's very easy. All the, all the missions like that are easy. Anyway, I believe we've only got one more mission to do, so I will join back with you in just a moment once I get to it. Okay, we are here now at the final mission, the Rhino 500. This is our second race mission Look fast, of this biome. But let's test how fast Again, really very are. easy. Very, very easy. But Mount the up, not survival. really anything Time to race. special. Right, there you go. Just follow the path that it lays out for you, and you won't have hwav. You won't hwav. Yep, no hwaving. And yeah, you don't really have to worry about fall damage either. I guess just try to be careful not to get stuck on other creatures, and you should be pretty fine. Oh, okay, don't get stuck on rocks either, apparently. Come on. At least these boosts bring you right back up to full speed immediately, so that's good. I didn't mean to stop sprinting there, that was an accident. Get off the fucking rock, really? You totally should have been able to climb that. The clock's running out. I'm fine. Okay, maybe a little less than fine, but I'm getting there. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're right at the end now. And then it ends us right back where we began. First place. Good on ya. Alrighty, there we go. 
All done. You're number one in the simulation. Well, thank you. You must be knackered. That tired me out, and I'm a hologram. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, the past two missions we did, did we get really anything interesting? Nah, I got a Ascendant Tech Sword. Uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. I think I have a better one already, though. Didn't really get anything that cool, actually. Okay, well, anyway, that is every single Arctic mission, Arctic Biome mission all done, as you can see, 100%. I do hope this guide helped you if you were struggling with any of your own missions. Uh, for now though, if you did enjoy this video, if it did help you, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it, it means a lot to me, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye!